Good morning. This is the lecture I'm talking about, the project profile and the executive summary that is your first product for your business plan that is due. The first thing that you need to do is, of course, name your business venture, and most of you have done that already. You want to uh, note uh, the URL, the industry, the number of employees, which would just be the people currently in your company. Of course, the founding date would be sometime last week. The elevator pitch that you developed is the start of what would go here in the business summary. This would be your president, so you need to uh, assign leadership. This is where you describe your value proposition, which is why your company is something that people would purchase. In other words, what is the desirable quality that would make someone give you money uh, in exchange for this, the product that you're offering? And also, if you have um, intellectual property, uh, it would be noted here. Your revenue run rate is the amount of money that you earn in a given year. So currently, it's okay to be pre-revenue, so in this case it would be zero. Your capital deployed would be how much you have invested in the business to date, how much funding you have raised, and what you're seeking. And so in our class, these numbers aren't very interesting, of course, but uh, what you're seeking really should be based on your business plan so you may want to just put in a number here for the time being, but we're going to work out what that number is in a little more detail. And so try and figure out what you think that number would be and take a stab at it. In terms of your marketability, you want in just a few sentences to establish what the market is, the kind of demand that you believe is out there. That can often, often those this information is the size of, of the, uh, the industry or the market, as well as what you specifically uh, think you can target. And then you also want to talk about your sustainable competitive advantage. So this is the thing that's unique to you uh, that you think will, will be there regardless of the competition uh, today and potentially in the future. Here is where you want to list uh, your management, qualifications, and title. So I like to put uh, the person's name in bold, their degrees, and then just a sentence or two about what they do. In terms of viability, this is your predictions about profitability and your uh, just uh, how you plan to sort of ramp up the business. Uh, so your you know, why you believe that it's a, a strong business model. So maybe that's the best way to describe it. This is where you describe your business model. Uh, if you have any advisors, uh, typically over time you'll build a board of advisors and you'll need of course a legal consultant and typically there's an outside accountant involved as well. Uh, someone who's a tax expert, not only for you know, the traditional taxes that you're used to working on, but also to help you negotiate with investors uh, to manage their tax advantages and disadvantages. On the second page here, uh, you want to talk in more detail about your management. And really, what will fill the back page is your action plan, the steps, the milestones that you envision to bring your business uh, from idea to some kind of demonstration to some prototyping, and then real production. And finally, if you have um, references or investors, those sections would go here. Let me show you uh, mine. Let's see, let's see in preview. Uh, here I've placed uh, my logo at the top and uh, our contact information. And 
You can see here a short business summary, the description of the product and service, uh, run rate and capital deployed, here a description of the people involved in the business, again very short. Then I fill this area with marketability and our advisors. I moved viability to the second page. And because we're a relatively unique idea, uh, I spent a lot of time on viability here. Um, and I have our, our references uh, for area investors, people uh, who, can, who can be asked about us uh, that investors are likely to know. And I used some of this space for pictures of what we envision of our product. Here we describe management. Now I have a relatively small action plan, but I would expect that um, you know that this would be a much this would make up the bulk of the back page uh, for your design. So that's uh, the executive summary, and uh, that will be posted in the course documents. So if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the question area. Ask Dr. Stearns. Or if you'd like me to address it in a video response, you, you can do put it in that section as well, and I will do this similar kind of video. Well, I hope that answers most of your questions about the executive summary, and I look forward to looking at your first attempts. See you in discussion.